materials. We're actually creating those materials. So we go backwards before we go forward. Oh, wow. And I know, I mean, that sounds like an extremely long process, especially for one person, and you've grown so exponentially. How big is your design team now? Um, well, I call us, I'm still the design team, so the design team is one. But I call us um, a cottage corporation because we are working with some of the biggest companies in the world, and we are, mm -hmm. the product has been so popular that we are, you know, really sending a lot of the story out into the world. But we still run, like, a really small business. We're, we're really like an art studio, a really, really busy art studio. <laughs> so I have assistants that work, and we're all in there, but it's kind of fun because we're all in there hands-on actually making this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I know, well, even getting your press release, I saw Sienna Miller is wearing some of your stuff. What were your reactions to the first time you saw your pieces in a national magazine or when some really <laughs> big celebrity was wearing them? Oh, uh, it's, it's fun. It makes me feel so good. You know, I'm in the studio every day just focusing on making things, which is what I really love. And so when I see it out on the, in the world reflected back to me, it's just it's really satisfying. And I don't even care if it's a, a celebrity or just somebody on the street. A lot of times when I see something that has come from my studio on a person, I look at it and I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's so beautiful. I can't believe I made that. <laughs> so I usually just see it on the workbench. <laughs> and do you live a very green lifestyle as well and kind of eco-friendly and stuff like that? I do. And it's funny because a lot of people like to ask me, like, when did you, you know, become green or when did you start doing this? And I grew up in Washington State in a passive mm -hmm. solar house. We composted. We washed out our baggies and reused them. So I never really became an environmentalist. I just was raised like that, and I thought that's what everybody did. <laughs> oh, and I know I read some of um, the profits from your jewelry line go to um, charitable organizations. Which mm -hmm. one do you support? Um, I actually, right now, I'm not working with anybody specific, but I love, I donate to so many different organizations because there are so many people out there that are doing amazing work. And any time that I can turn my jewelry into money for a good cause, I'm honored to do that. Wow. And where do you get um, inspiration for new ideas? <sighs> just looking, gosh, just absorbing everyday life, the world. I travel a lot. I'm passionate about traveling, and I think that travel just opens your mind, and you see things from different cultures and different places, and when you come back home, you you think differently. Um, I would say probably my travel is my biggest inspiration. Where do you like to travel to? Any particular places? Or um, yeah, well, and then I kind of go everywhere. I have a, I keep a list of places that I want to see, and then I just go see them. So I was, um, recently I was in Peru for 16 days. I was also in Japan, Hong Kong. Um, I've been almost to every country in Latin America. I really love um, Latin America. It's been a passion for me. In Australia, just a little bit of everything. But I'm saving. I'm saving the easy ones for when I get older. <laughs> like you. I like to. Yeah, yeah. I like to go far away and exotic. <laughs> What's your favorite country you've ever been to? Oh, that's a difficult one. Um, I love Greece. I would say Greece is one of my favorite places. That's one place I'm dying to go. Yeah, <laughs> it's beautiful. Favorite. It's amazing. Um, and I guess my last question kind of is, what's next for your jewelry line and for you? Um, for the jewelry, the, the great thing is that we're, you know, constantly expanding, coming up with new products, and I'm going to be doing some more um, kind of more intricate pieces. It, it's nice that people people love the product so much that I'm getting to design bigger and more fashion-driven pieces than just kind of everyday wear. Um, we're also going to be adding um, rings and cufflinks at some point, which I'm really excited about. Oh, wow. And then the other thing that's very exciting for me as an artist is that I'm getting to take the process um, that we've used on the jewelry and transfer that into uh, large custom lighting fixtures and art installations. Oh, really? Yeah, so I just did an organic winery up in North Georgia. I did seven chandeliers for them, and I'm going to be doing some bigger installations for some 
eco green events coming up in is the fall. Is that something you think you want, you're going to want to pursue a lot more rather than the jewelry or kind of just see how it um, I think I'll always keep the jewelry and that'll always be, you know, my starting place. But I think that the chandeliers and bringing, bringing um, green products into the home or into hotels or public spaces that are stunningly beautiful and just stop people in their tracks and then when they find out what it is it's even more exciting. Um, that's that's exciting for me. And it's exciting for me to be um, to be get to be an artist too. I like to do the custom big pieces and take this process that I've developed and just see how big I can go with it. Oh, that's nice. I can't wait to see all of the, your stuff tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. That is all the questions I have for you. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Oh, great. It's my pleasure. I'm always honored. And, um, yeah, I, I look forward to meeting you tomorrow, and we will get you hooked up for your photo shoot. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> great. I'll okay. see you tomorrow.